Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate on how to model a, a dairy cattle shed with all the cubicles. This kind of shed will have a capacity of 16 number of cattle, reared especially for milk production. Welcome to this presentation, I'm Morris Gimba, your presenter. If we check on the screen, we, we have already made the grid for the shed. I've, di I've done this because we've done this several times, so I think I thought there's no need of redoing it once again. But for anybody who, who wishes to check on the measurements that were fed into this, you just come and double click here and you, these grid properties will give you everything regarding the grid measurements. That, this and this. The Z will give you the height and uh, Y will give you the number of columns with, with interval measurements of 6. We'll just go ahead and click close. Now from here, we have the views here. I'll go straight to steel. I'll pick steel beam. I'll place my beam there. I'll double click there come to steel, uh, steel properties, I'll pick IPE, this one here, I'll pick 400, I'll modify, apply and accept, double click on this, come to position, make this 6 meters, apply and accept. From that, I'll come to Applications and Component. I'll type Base Plate. Base Plate, I'll pick that. I'll place my Base Plate down there. And I'll, I'll click, right click and redraw. I'll close this. I'll come back to it later on. Having placed, placed this column, I'll come to View. I'll and pick that Elevation View. From here, I'll come to steel again and just pick a spot there and run all the way to that spot. Double click on this, come to profile, come to IPE, IPE here, pick, I'll pick 360, I'll apply and accept, I'll do the same here come here and bring this to zero that is because this beam is not fully extending its length to the to the point it is required to reach from here I'll see I'll switch back to isometric view I'll come to view navigate and rotate with mouse turn this from here, I'll come back and uh, type haunch. I'll pick uh, Eve haunch number 102. I'll pick the main and pick the secondary. Turn this round. Redraw to remove all those. Now I'll close this. I'll switch back to grid 1. I'll redraw again to remove all this. I'll redraw. From here, I'll highlight everything. I want to mirror, and prior to mirroring, you have to change your work plane tool. My work plane tool will be here. I'll place it on that plane. Then I'll right click. I'll come to special copy and mirror. I'll just place my mirror line here and click copy. Right click and, in, and interrupt to disable that mirror command. Then I'll come to applications and component and pick Apex Hunch. I'll pick this as, a, as the main, as the primary part and this as a secondary part. Uh, Apex Hunch here. I'll right click and redraw. I'll close that. Then I'll, I'll switch back to isometric view. 
this actually what I've made. Redraw this, remove all this. Now from here, I'll reset back my work plane tool to its or original orientation. I'll come to work plane tool and just place it on that spot. From here, I'll just highlight everything. I'll right click, go to special copy, pick linear. And prior to populating this along the, the grid, make sure you know the orientation of your axis. We want to populate these along the Y axis. Now on this copy property, I'll come to Y axis and type 6 meters. I need 5 of these because I, 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 I have one already on one grid. I'll just go ahead and click copy and click OK. I'll zoom, I'll zoom in or closer. I'll redraw to refresh the whole thing. This is what we've come up with. Now this is the shade for the dairy cattle. Now the cubicles will, will be located or will be fixed in the middle here. And uh, the feeding tables will be fixed along, but inside the shade. And another one will be uh, fixed here, along, but inside, inside the shade. We'll start off by creating the cubicle first. I'll come to steel, steel beam. I'll place my beam there. I'll double click that to change the steel profile and, and size. We'll use hollow section, circular hollow section. We'll come to that. We'll pick 88.9 with that thickness. Apply and accept. We'll apply that. But prior to accepting that, we come to position to adjust the height. We need 1300. Apply and accept. Perfect. Now from here is where we want to make the cubicles for holding the cattle. The cattle, I mean, in position while resting or sleeping. Now from here, we'll switch back to grid 1. I'll come to steel. I'll place my beam there and, ju and just direct my cursor to that position to make sure it is an, on a straight position and type 2 meters. I'll enter that. Switch back to isometric view. Double click on this. Come to profile, select to change the profile size and type. Come to hollow section, circular hollow section, and pick the same same size of hollow section. Apply and accept. Come back here and modify to accept the selection. Now we'll switch back to grid 1 again. Click on this, right click, and click copy. Just place your cursor in the middle, click and place I place it down here to make sure it is straight or it is on this on, uh, on a straight spot and type 200 type 200 and do that that's bigger click this from here just place it down here and type 100 100 okay Now we'll delete this, click on this, click copy. From here, just place your cursor down here and type 900. 
accept that double click on this come to beam properties come to position we want to shorten this circular hollow section member we'll come to this end and type negative 600 that's okay apply and accept from there we'll switch back to isometric view turn this round make sure you're viewing everything and make sure everything is in the right position now I want to locate the centers of these pipes I'll come to edit come to point I'll pick online I want to locate the centers the center of that I'll accept that and come here and locate the center of this of this pipe from here to here I've made the center there now from here I want to join this and this I'll come to steel steel beam I'll join this by clicking on the center there and zoom out or in and place it here is not properly properly located I'll come back to steel beam I'll click in the middle point of that then stretch all the way to this spot and put it there I'll double click on this and the reason why it is shorter is because we adjusted this this end offset measurements I'll bring this to zero so that that member can stretch itself to its full length apply and accept now from here I'll double click come to position and give this a middle position and apply from here I'll double click on this come to position and bring this to negative 600 to shorten that apply and accept I'll come here again to edit and pick the middle point of this pipe pick that click copy and join it up with this midpoint now from here there's no big issue just double click here come to deforming just click and press your left button to move it around come to deforming come to cumbering and type 100 negative 100 40 or 50 will be okay or 60 will be okay apply and accept now from here I'll come to navigate to rotate this member from here we'll come to view we want to change the work plane tool we'll give it this plane we'll place it on this plane I right click and interrupt to do to disable that work plane tool command now we want to join this bend with this straight pipe click there and turn this round I'll click this and right click 
come to special copy and click rotate with line I'll click here and run all the way to click on that end and click copy just, just zoom closer is not right I want to change this angle to negative 50 perfect negative 55 and negative 60 will be much better apply and accept now what we are going to do we'll come to navigate click here and turn this round and delete all this delete all that delete this and delete this Now we will have this member come here, click on that spot and turn it round. We want to locate the midpoint of this pipe or that elbow. Come to edit, come to points online. We want to locate the mid the midpoint of this. Apply and accept. Come to view come to navigate, rotate with mouse and turn this round. We want to do away with this member, we'll delete it. We'll delete that point. We'll come to steel, we'll pick steel beam and click right on that spot. Come to view, rotate this to increase your visibility come to navigate turn this uh, this one round zoom closer and click right on this spot the reason why it's creating an elbow is because our cumbering tool is still active we'll double click on this and come to deforming and bring this cumbering to zero and click modify and accept and still short is not reaching to the full length that we requested we'll come to position and bring this to zero and apply accept now navigate rotate with mouse double click on this to adjust the length maybe by 30 it's too much by, by 20 by 10 it will be okay apply and accept come here double click on this come to position double click on this you want to extend this one we come to position and, and type 10 negative 10 negative 10 20 apply and accept now turn this round That is the joint will be joined by weld or by welding. Now this is one part of the cubicle. It's actually the cubes for for cattle, especially they're very very important during the. Uh, during the the night time when the the cattle are now resting or sleeping what i'm going to do i'll just highlight on this 
switch back to this elevation prior to that make sure your axis is on is on the right plane right click and come to special copy and click mirror now i want to mirror this from here to here this is my mirror line i'll click copy delete duplicates okay delete duplicates and switch back to isometric view right click and redraw now from here I'll switch back my plane, work plane tool to its original position or, or orientation I'll come to view I'll come to work plane tool and just place my work plane tool there now I'll highlight everything here right click and click special copy and go to linear and prior to populating this to the full length of the shade check the orientation of the axis it's y we want to populate this along the y now we'll come to y but this time round it won't be six meters it will be one meter interval but we need close to 25 of these or 20 we need 30 of this Yes, click OK. Apply and accept. Come to navigate. Click this and turn this round. Now these are the cubicles. If you don't understand the cubicles, A cow or a, a cow mostly reared for milk during the night they sleep inside these cubes this is capable of, of holding 60 in number of cattle but will reduce it will reduce the capacity slightly now from here we will switch back to our view let's go back to isometric view and re rework something here we come to steel steel beam We just place the a steel beam there. And run all the way to this end. Six meter. We'll come to view. Rotate with mouse. Double click on this to and to and and this will bring you to beam properties come to position come to depth give it middle be uh, be behind behind by 20 or 10 40 is okay Fifty. Click this one and just snap on top. Place your cursor here. Place your cursor there and type 20 come to navigate click that and turn it 
around click this click move from here to here turn perfect we'll interrupt that rotate this change our work plane tool we bring our work plane tool here on this plane right click and accept bring this closer select this right click come to special copy mirror we want to mirror this this will be our mirror line let's zoom closer this will be our mirror line and click copy right click and accept click on this right click click move from here let's place your cursor here and type 900 and enter that you're right on the spot down there we'll come here and rotate this press control select this and select this right click click copy from here from here to here to here to here I think this is the last perfect now come to navigate rotate with mouse and turn this round now these are the cubicles for holding the cows or the cattle or the cattle during the night now in short this is these are the sleeping areas for the cows We'll come to this view, redraw, let's switch to isometric view. We'll put the concrete wall here and a concrete wall there we'll, and we'll place some railings here and some railings on the other end. Turn this round like this. And thanks a lot for watching this video. Let's meet on the next presentation that will be part two of this. I'm Oris Dimba and bye bye. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Or don't forget to subscribe. And bye bye. Let's meet then.